Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited for today's video because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put HTV vinyl on ceramic mugs. And not only am I gonna be showing you guys how to put HTV on your mugs at home, but I'm also gonna be showing you two different ways you can put on HTV. One of the more obvious ways, I'm gonna be using a mug press. And then just in case there are some of you out there that do not have a mug press or one of the Cricut mug presses or anything, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use a heat gun instead. So if you're curious to see how I made these, then keep watching. All right guys, so for this craft, you're gonna need quite a few things. You're obviously going to need some type of ceramic mug. I got this one at Dollar Tree, but you can obviously find these all over the place. You're also going to need some HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl. It's basically vinyl that is safe to be heated up. And I'm going to be pressing on this HTV two different ways. I'm gonna do one with a heat gun, and then I'm gonna be using my mug press over there for my other one and we're gonna see which one comes out better and i'm gonna be using cricut design space over here on my macbook along with my cricut to cut out my design but you could obviously use whatever software and machine you have and then when working with the cricut you obviously need your cutting mat a weeding tool and some scissors and you're also going to need some heat resistant tape i have mine in this cool little dispenser here and I'm also using some butcher paper. All right guys, I'm super excited to jump into this craft, so let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm on my blank canvas here on my Cricut Design Space, and I'm gonna be putting some super simple designs on these mugs. I think I just want them to say Hello Pumpkin because they are a cute orange color. And I already have my font that I want selected up here. It's Four Seasons Home Decor. but I want this to say, hello pumpkin, like that, love it. I'm going to duplicate this because I do have two mugs. And then I'm gonna hit make. And don't forget, anytime you are working with HTV, you need to mirror your image because it is going on backwards. And I want to space this out just a little bit so it's a little bit easier to cut in between that decal. And I'm going to hit continue. Okay, and I've selected heat transfer non cricket because it's not their brand. I don't think that really matters as long as you have some type of heat transfer vinyl selected. And we're going to keep our pressure at the default. Okay, guys, so now I need to cut out my vinyl to go onto my cricket mat. So that we can cut it. Now you can use scissors for this, but I obviously like using my Fiskars little rotary tool because it's just easier for me to just roll and slice it than sit there and mess with my scissors trying to cut it. And I went ahead and added just a little bit of masking tape around the HTV just to help kind of secure it down to the mat so it's not trying to shift around while it's cutting it. And I just wanna point out that whenever you're working with HTV, make sure you put your vinyl on your mat correctly. So whenever you are working with HTV, you'll notice that one side is super glossy compared to the other side. You want that super glossy, shiny side on the mat and the more matte side facing up because then when it's done being cut, you're going to weed out your design and then you're gonna flip it over and put it onto your mug or whatever you're working with. So I'm just going to load my mat into my Cricut. And now we are ready to cut. Okay guys, so my Cricut is done cutting out my design and I don't think you guys can really see that, maybe with the light, um, but it is cut in there. So now I'm just going to cut this in half. So now we can weed out our design. Okay guys, so once you have your design weeded out, this is what it should look like. So now, as you can see, when we flip it over and we set it on our mug, it's going to be the right direction. So as you can see, this was the shiny side. That was the more matte side. But basically, it's just going to go on your mug like this, and then we can press it. Okay, so this is where I'm going to want my design. So from here, I use my heat-resistant tape, and I will just tape it onto the mug 
to kind of hold it in place while it's being pressed. I will say when you're working with um, words like this, so like you'll notice when I bend it, it doesn't really go flat on the mug at the bottom. So what I like to do, and I do this when I'm working with vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, anything, I will cut a slit in between my words so that I can kind of form each one a little bit better. So I just press that down and I'm gonna tape that little section. So you see how it's actually like adhered how it needs to be now. So then I'm just gonna do the same thing with this side. So now we have our design all taped down to our mug. So now I'm ready to press this design with some butcher paper. So let's go over to my heat press. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. All right guys, so I had to whip out my old heat press to be able to use this mug press because it did come as an attachment on this heat press. I did get this off of Amazon a long time ago, but basically whenever you're not using the actual press itself, you just plug in whatever your attachment is. So in today's case, I'm using my mug press, but I also have a hat press and all that that can be attached. But you just take your mug and I just have my paper like this and I have my heat press set to 330 degrees and I'm just going to slide it in here. Now be careful because this is hot obviously and I'm just going to pull this handle shut so that it goes tightly around my mug and as you guys can see here, it is tight around there and I'm gonna be pressing it for 30 seconds. Okay guys, so it has been 30 seconds, so I'm just going to unclamp this and be careful because your mug will be hot. Now I'm just gonna let this set here and cool for about 20 seconds or so and then we will peel off our design. Now we are ready to peel up our tape, the backing. All right guys, so we've peeled up our backing and as you can see here, the vinyl is all the way adhered on. It's not scraping off. Um, I will recommend do not put these in the dishwasher. You can wash these by hand, that's fine. I wouldn't recommend soaking them or using any abrasive materials to scrub them, but just hand washing should be okay. But this is on here, it's not coming off. I think this is definitely more durable than just like using the regular vinyl on like cold cups and stuff. But now we're ready to add on our second design onto our second mug over here using our other method, which in this method, we're gonna be using the heat gun. Okay, so same way as before, I'm just going to put the design where I like it. And then I'm gonna be using my heat resistant tape to tape down my design. All right guys, so I'm gonna be using my heat gun to put this design on. I'm going to have my heat gun on the high setting, not the low, but I am gonna be holding it pretty far away from it. And I will recommend don't stay on one spot too long. I just like to kind of circle around and I'm gonna do this for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna be counting in my head, but I'm just going to be kind of moving it around, not staying in one place for too long. I'm just going to press down on the design to make sure there's no bubbles or anything and it's really pressed on there. And then I'm just going to go over it one more time really quickly. All right guys, so we peeled off the backing on this one. And as you can see, it looks the exact same as the heat press. I will say I feel a little more um, like the one with the heat press is a little more secure than the one that we did with the heat gun, but I can't visibly see or tell a difference. So if you don't have a heat press, I think the heat gun will be an excellent option for you. So yeah. All right guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.